guys welcome back so today we are going to um, open up this lucky fine poly gel kit they were nice enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to try it and of course I agreed because you know poly gel is kind of new to me in the last couple months and I'm just super excited about trying it out so this is from lucky fine let's jump right into it and see what's inside all right, so I just took off the packaging. I love this matte finish and like kind of galaxy look to it in the holographic sort of letters. That's kind of nice. Um, looks like the side of the box tells you what you're gonna get. Hopefully you guys can see this. Ooh, I like it already. Oh. All right, so you know I love packaging. This is beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is beautiful. So we got the poly gel nail guide. Looks like it tells you what's inside. You have the directions, tips, and things like that. And it looks like the rest is just in another language. So yeah, and then they have a picture a diagram. And it looks like it's basically gonna be the same sort of ordeal um, with how poly gel kits are. But you get your dual forms. Or are these dual forms? Yeah, I believe. Let me find out. They may not be dual forms. Just kidding. Oh, a hundred piece. Form nails in different sizes. So actually, I believe you can't, yeah, you can use these as forms. I didn't see the little tabs on the side at first. Um, they look different than like, um, I think McCart or like another brand I've done where they have like the lines and numbers inside. I don't think these ones have it, but it looks really cool. So um, we got some beautiful glitter. Ugh. I'm going to leave that alone. Or, let me see if I can get it. It is in there good for sure. Okay. So you get a jar of glitter. Look at that, you guys. This is like a blue, purple, green, yellowish, iridescent type of look. This is more of like far away or it looked like a light lavender purple. And then it goes to like blue. Um, but I see some hints of green and other stuff in it, too. This is really pretty. And then this is like a blue. So I guess this one's more green, purple, and blue. If I was looking at it and best describing it in person. I am looking at it and describing it in person. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, to get your brush, you get a file. You got your slip solution right here. You can also use alcohol um, as well. But you got your slip solution. You get your top coat and base coat. I love these bottles. These are beautiful. So that's kind of nice. So that's your top coat. Or just kidding, that's your base coat. This is your top coat. <laughs> Um, and then you get your colors. I, um, this is natural pink. This is light white. Oh, that's kind of cool. Then we have clear pink. And then, of course, clear. This is pretty standard in most poly gel kits. Um, let me pull this out. And I'll squeeze the uh, these out on a nail so you can see what they look like. And then we'll jump in and start putting them on. And I'll let you know my thoughts. Alright you guys, so I have my slip solution. Oh, I just, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> um... That scissor is sharp. Oops. 
I should have opened that all the way. So, I don't really like to swatch clear because I feel like it's just supposed to be clear. But then I wondered if all poly gel clears are created equal because when I do acrylic, um, I noticed that not all clears were created equal. There were some that were a lot more clear than others and like really good for encapsulating. And there were, there were some that looked kind of foggy or cloudy still. So, ooh, little air bubble. <laughs> um, it was easy to squeeze out though. Uh, for the most part. I'm only going to squeeze out a little. I was just shocked it was easy to squeeze out because this is in my nail room. And um, it's cold down here. Usually. Especially in the morning. And it's it's the morning time. So I'm just getting my brush wet. I will say off first impression. I don't know if you can tell. This looks really clear. So like I said, again, I'm new to poly gel, but I, I wasn't sure if uh, if all the clears were created equal or not. So maybe I should start testing them out to see. Or if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'll only do a little of clear, just so we don't use up a lot of time, but it looks good. If you can see that. This is clear pink. Ooh, I like this. I don't know if you guys can see, it just has like the slightest tint of pink in it. It's like the slightest tint. But I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see it. For some reason, I don't know, I was thinking um, some lace would look cute over this. Or it may be fun to encapsulate something with it. Hopefully this is okay to see since I have the blue putty behind me. I like the way it smooths out. I don't know if you could see that, but it does have a slight, like the very slightest hint of pink in it. This is light white, which I am curious about because I know a lot of the poly gel kits include white, but the way they're saying light white, I don't know if that's like a milky white or what, or like white white. Have you guys heard of this brand before? I think when I posted the picture a couple days ago, people said they hadn't heard about it. So, if you don't know, now you know. I'm actually gonna put a poly gel set on my nails today. I'm not gonna use the forms. I've usually in my videos, tried it with forms but I'm not going to do forms today. I'm gonna try to glue tips down. It's been so long, a couple months since I've done the whole tip application since I've been doing soft gels, um, nail extensions since like November. So there is white for you. It kind of looks like white to me. I don't know why it's a light white. Well, maybe because there's like a super white, but this looks pretty white to me. And then we have natural pink. I like the full size tubes. These are 30, 30 grams. 
I feel like they're easier to squeeze for some reason. And so far it looks like they match the labels. Wow, this pink is pretty. It's like bright, but I don't know. It, bubble gum. It reminds me of bubble gum. I think, is, is it bubble yum that comes in that yellow and blue wrapper that's been around for a while? That's what it kind of reminds me of. Or like bazooka gum, maybe. I loved bazooka gum, but um, the flavor always went out so quick. It's a little, little black thing. All right, I had to go off camera. There was a little black dot, but it turned out it was actually a piece of glitter. And I don't know, I had this glitter, yeah, when I cleaned out my drawers and it, they were everywhere, like spilled in. And so I'm having a hard time getting rid of it. Um, all the little pieces, I keep picking them up. But um, this is natural pink. It's really pretty color. So yeah. This one may be hard to see the natural pink, but I like the tiny, it has the tiniest little tint. The best way I could describe it is almost how like the um, the slip solutions have tint. I don't know if you've ever seen the McCart um, pink, all pink poly gel kit that even has pink slip solution. It kind of reminds me of that, just like it's the tiniest little hint of pink. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. So yeah, I just wanted to open that up and show you guys the... Um, you know, first impression out of box and the swatches. I'm getting ready to uh, prep my nails and uh, come back and I will do a quick look with it today. Alrighty, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I have pretty much pushed back my cuticles and um, prepped my nails and applied tips. I am going to go in with base coat like the directions say. That is bottle A and then we're gonna cure Are you guys so I cured um I did take the base coat up on the tip a little bit you don't have to I don't believe but I did um I'm using my slip solution I'm going to go in with clear um I think I might use some glitter too all right so I have this clear and I'm gonna squeeze some on and start working with it. Well, you could use your spatula. I think that's what you call it. This might be too much, but I'm not sure. It looks like it could be. <laughs> Oops. All right, the nail's kind of long, so I wasn't sure how much I needed. And I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I'll include the details at the bottom. You can purchase this on Amazon. I haven't worked with nail tips in so long. It's crazy. So I am gonna try to take some glitter and uh, spread a little bit down here. All 
All right, you guys, for this one, I ended up putting the glitter down on the base coat that I laid, and I'm gonna try to go over it with the clear. So, um, let's see what happens. I'm still new to poly gel. It's something I want to get into. Um, so I know there's tons of videos out there. I just haven't had a chance to really watch a lot of them to see. All right, you guys, I'm gonna um, cure this really quick, just so I don't lose it or bump it. Um, and yeah, I'll keep going. All right, so I took that off the lamp. I just squeezed some on my middle finger. Looks like I got a little glitter on there. It was on my brush, but um, it's fine because I'm actually gonna cover these nails, the ones that uh, don't have glitter. Well, I'm planning to cover them. We'll see, but so far, this is pretty easy to work with. It's beginner friendly. I'm getting something that kind of looks like a nail, so that's a start and should tell you something. This looks a little crazy, but um, I think I've, I'm having an issue with squeezing too much on. So I need to learn my product ratio. But that's probably, I mean, that's probably common with uh, beginners. Because even when I started acrylic, I didn't really know my liquid to powder ratio. So now I don't really know my product ratio. But I mean, it's something you get a feel for with practice. And over time, I imagine. Just like how acrylic was. So I'm going to play with this now really quick and then... Um, We'll, we'll start finishing up. All right, y'all, we are down to the last nail. I know it looks a little crazy, you know, I might be missing a little bit of an apex. See, I'm still having problems with the ratio. But like I said, that's me. It'll be like almost right and then there'll be a lot at the end to smooth out or whatever. But yeah. Definitely didn't do too good on the apex, but we're learning. I think I just thought it needed a lot of product because I had these long nails, but it actually doesn't. A little can go a long way. Definitely gonna need the drill and a little bit of prayer to uh, get these back looking right. <laughs> I didn't lose the shape too much in them, but uh, I didn't apply it like super smooth, so I know I'm gonna have to go in. See, look at that excess right there. I just wasted that. Well, I did try to scoop it back and put it on top of the nail where it was missing. Poly gel, or maybe needed a little more. That's like wasted gel. I can't wait till I'm good at this. Watch, I'm gonna do a comparison video of my first poly gel set. I feel like this is the first poly gel that I put on my own nail. I could be wrong, but I feel like, 
I've usually used my daughter as an example. I will say this is my first time doing poly gel without dual forms, I believe. Um, I've usually always tried the dual forms that come with the kit, but I didn't want to use them because they're square. Um, I have seen some people use a nail tip, a full cover nail tip, to do the stiletto shape. I didn't want to do all that today, but I've seen it. So yeah, this is my first time, I believe, actually having to smooth it down with no help from a dual form. It's easy to smooth out though, I'll give you that. I've worked with some that weren't that easy, or at least as easy as this. Or maybe because it was my first time, maybe that's why I felt like it wasn't easy. Almost there. I cured the other ones in between. I wasn't taking no chances. They looked kind of nice, so. Well, they look decent. They look kind of like a nail. All right, you guys, so this is the the um, fresh out the light look. Somebody told me to wipe with alcohol before you go into file, so, because it was sticky. Well, yeah, it's a little sticky, but the first time I ever did a poly gel set, they were telling me to do that. So thank you for that tip. Um, I'm going to go in with a hand file to clean these up and then a drill and I'll come back when I start decorating and show you what's going on. All right, you guys, I'm back. So this is what it looks like. I am going to go in with Dipped and Pretty Mermaid Kisses and uh, polish up these nails. This is the final look. I love this stuff, you guys. It was super beginner friendly, easy to use, easy to drill through, and it came out great. So this is Lucky Fine Poly Gel Set paired with the mermaid kisses from dipped in pretty line i hope you guys love this video and enjoyed it until next time take care and be safe